Morning everybody, James Blackall is showing commercial finance on Tuesday the 26th of May 2020. I hope anyone watching this after the bank holiday is keen and ready to go with their working week. And if you've been working over the bank holiday, um, thank you very much. Um, I did a video yesterday, um, which has been watched by a few people, about fintech lenders. Um, how they seem to have struggled to get their sort of platforms to adapt to the, the civil, the bounce back loan scheme, etc. And um, this morning I've, I've been brought, brought to my attention an article um, that the Bank of England are working to bring, to help fintechs a little bit more. Um, fintech and non-bank non alternative lenders were responsible for £140 billion of credit, new credit, to UK businesses and households last year, 2019. £140 billion. Pounds. I mean, that's a fearsome amount to the SME marketplace and, and households as well. So, um, and that's according to the Finance and Leasing Association, who's their trade body. Now, as I said a couple of months ago, when this all first started, and these lenders had to close their doors really temporarily, I really doubted their ability to survive this kind of crash. And now, indeed, many of them are warning of collapse um, at a time when, to be perfectly honest, they're actually required, most of all. Um, we know that the banks have struggled to, to fill that gap for the SME marketplace over the last few years, hence the rise of people like the Funding Circle, who I think are responsible for about 90 billion quid of lending just themselves to SMEs. Um, and for that now to be snatched away from UK businesses, I think would have an absolutely catastrophic consequence. I certainly know of several businesses who, well, dozens of businesses have only survived because of support from these kind of lenders over the last two three years because their own banker said no so hopefully there'll be a realization that this can't be allowed to happen that these lenders need to survive um it looks as though the bank of england are putting together a support package to help but they're because of the rules and regulations involved and the bank of england clearly want to protect themselves this is going to be a messy process but it looks as though that some backing's in place and looks as though a couple of months after guys like me said it needed to be looked at, it's finally being looked at. So hopefully that will help. Um, so I'm James Blackwell, Jerry Commercial Finance. Um, I'm doing a presentation tonight on the Sybils and Bounce Back Loan Scheme, which will be available on YouTube. It's going to be a sort of an eight, ten minute summary of what the scheme is about, where we are, and may be worth watching for those of you who just want to be brought up to speed with some figures. Uh, I'll let you know when it's on here. All right, thanks guys. Take care. Bye.